Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is a brand new week of fun and fabulous crafty decor adventures. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you guys some DIY Dollar Tree decor crafts. Listen, I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a budget. You never have to break the bank to have a fabulous, amazing home. And you guys can always add your own creative flair with jewels, colors, um, paint choices, and ribbon choices. So get creative and make it your own. And I'm just here to inspire you guys to do that. So thank you for being here. But let's Let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to craft. For the first Dollar Tree DIY, I want to share with you all how to take one of these wooden crosses and detach the little base. And then you can use some really beautiful craft paper to craft on top of. So at Hobby Lobby, they have every kind of pattern and color under the sun. You could also paint these beautiful craft um, crosses, but I'm just going to use this pretty Mackenzie Child inspired paper. Again, I did get this at Hobby Lobby at 69 cents. I traced around my cross. Also look for the coupons on their paper goods. Um, they'll run sales every week with different goodies and they'll always throw some paper in there here and there. One of the ladies at the front told me about that. So anyway, go ahead and trim out the outline of your cross. And then I'm just using a really nice general, generous layer of Mod Podge for this. And I did end up having to use like several coats here. The wooden crafts um, from Dollar Tree there in the crafters square section like this are always a little bit porous. And so it does take a little bit more to get that on. So I'm just going to go ahead and lay that down and smooth it out and then add another layer of Mod Podge. And so originally I thought I was going to Mod Podge this fab or this um, pattern to both sides. I did actually end up taking this elephant Waverly chalk paint and chalk painting the base of my cross and then also the back. I just thought that would look kind of pretty and classy and it's also very neutral, which I love to kind of mix in neutrals really for pretty much any season. Now I hot glued the cross back onto the base and again, I was actually gonna do a little bit of a different DIY and not use the base, but I ended up deciding to just put the base back on and then I did trim the edges with some of the Waverly um, chalk paint. You would probably actually want to do this as the first step, but live and learn from my mistake. It came out really cute. I feel like anyway, um, it gave it kind of a little bit of a distressed edge and I did even distress the front of it with a bit of sandpaper. So really have fun with this project. Get creative. These are out right now at our Dollar Tree in the Crafters Square section. I thought they were so pretty. I picked up two of this style and then they had another one with like a cross cut out. I'm also using this um, premium paint pen. I love these. It's the gold paint pen and it really just jazzes things up and makes things a little bit extra special and sparkly. So again, um, this is the gold premium paint pen. It's art deco paint pen. You can get Michaels. You can also order it off of Amazon. So here is how it looks and I'm just going to pop it in with my little display here. I think this is going to be so perfect really to move around anywhere, probably pop it into my coffee bar. I do love to say a good morning cup of coffee with you guys every morning on my Instagram story with my scripture cards and I do get those at Dollar Tree so I love y'all and I hope you're enjoying this one This next at Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take one of the little burner covers from the Dollar Tree and some of this Dollar Tree nautical rope. I'm going to hot glue it in the center and then wind it around the center point, just making a kind of a cute little swirly basket weave idea here. So I want to make a little mini tray and I want this to be something I can pop out into my patio or just in any little space. I've made some of these, but they're all a lot larger. So I thought it would be really fun just to have a smaller one. So just keep wrapping your nautical rope and gluing it.
Once I had the whole little rope attached to my burner cover, I then took two little pieces of rope and decided to create some handles. Again, I want to create like a little mini tray. Um, Dolly Tree is carrying these really cute like little farmer's market type signs and I chose this locally grown fresh produce. And so I also will tell you to glue your handles up just a little bit further. I was wanting my round sign to kind of sit flat down on my basket tray, but it ended up kind of being a little bit elevated, so it works fine. But just if you want it to sit down flat, um, uh, put your handles up a little bit further. But I added handles to either side, and then you could honestly just be done here. You could put a cute little bead or something, you know, to cover just that edge. But I think it's pretty cute as is. And then I'm just going to add this little um, doodly dad. Again, that's that little round. It's like a plant steak, I guess. I don't know. Um, I'm going to add that to the center. And then I also decided to add a layer of Mod Podge. And that way, if somebody wanted to sit a drink on this, it wouldn't, like... Um, mess up the front of it because it is going to be kind of a little bit of a tray that I'm probably going to use kind of maybe as a coaster or probably just actually for a candle which is how I'm displaying it here but anyway I thought that was a really fun idea just for something different and if you want to create a little tray you guys could also do this with like a square tray and one of the square dollar tree signs I don't know honestly the sky is the limit have fun with it get creative and go for it The next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take one of these little blue trucks, and these are one of the 4th of July trucks. Now, I did buy two because I want to use one in my 4th of July display, and then one I wanted to use like in my lemon kitchen area, so I'm going to do a repaint on this truck. Now, don't panic, you guys. This is an absolutely adorable truck. I still have my other USA truck, but I did want to make one that would just kind of match my lemon decor. So I'm taking and I'm laying down a base of the white Waverly chalk paint, and that is going to cover some of the extra glittery and bumpy parts on my actual little truck. And then I'll go in with some of the Waverly Elephant chalk paint and just chalk paint um, the edges right here. And this is above like the little tire wheel spot. If you're a car person, let me know what this would probably be called. I guess it's the truck. Um, oh, my son would kill me because he's a total tr car truck person. Anyway, I am detailing this to the best of my ability and knowledge and just trying to make it super cute with some fun neutral colors. Now when you're painting these trucks, don't panic if things look a little bit wonky. You can always go back in and fix it with a little bit of a detail brush. I did go ahead and paint the back of it gray and then I painted my little wheels and tires and then I'm just again using some more shading and some detail work. So really for something like this, a couple of different colors of gray, some whites and blacks are going to give you a pretty good little effect. And now I'm just going to hot glue this cute little mint sign onto the front. Now it's actually not technically going to be a mint carrying truck, but the sign was the perfect size for this. I'm going to pop some lemons into the bed of my truck, some pineapples, and then some of 
the lemon leaves and I'm gonna hope the lemon leaves kind of look like this okay so these lemon plates I actually got at Hobby Lobby um, now they are carrying some different little fruit plates at the Dollar Tree or you guys could just use some yellow foam or construction paper um, get creative with it. These little mini wooden pineapples are also from the Dollar Tree, but I just thought this was such a fun little happy truck. And again, it matches my kitchen. Um, so anyway, just get creative with it. You guys could do a watermelon truck. You could do an herb truck, lemons, um, you know, anything that floats your boat that you, pops into your brain. I do love to buy, you know, one extra of the truck so I can kind of sometimes do these little cute repaints. I hope you guys are loving it. Comment and let me know what you guys think. For this next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take one of these Dollar Tree burner covers. I love this one. It says, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade super great motto for me right now and so i just hot glued a piece of wire to the back and then i put a piece of cardboard over that wire to kind of keep the little burner cover on and then just wired it to this wreath form this wreath form is about a 14 inch wreath form um, it could have been a little bit bigger but hey we're gonna use what we have on hand the next thing i'm doing is using some of this dollar tree greenery i'm going to hot glue the ends of the greenery and these do come in bundles so there's about six to seven a bundle and you can just trim them off with your wire cutter and then I'm adding in some more greenery in and around the little burner cover. You can also find these grapevine wreaths at pretty much any craft store or your Walmart for about four to five dollars. So continue to hot glue some pretty greenery in and around it. I thought that greenery would be really nice. Um, leaving kind of just the pops of yellow here and there. I didn't have a whole super ton of lemons left because I've already done one of my lemon wreaths and I've already done some other lemon crafts, but I thought this would be a fun one. I just really, really, really love this saying. I think it's amazing and I think it's a good thing to keep in mind always. Um, no matter what is going on in your life, when life gives you lemons, you can make lemonade. Just try not to let those lemons turn you sour or better. So I'm really trying to remember that. Okay, now go ahead and make a cute little Olivia bow. I'm gonna use this Mackenzie Childs ribbon I had left over from Christmas. You're just gonna take the ribbon and loop it over on itself. I did that twice to give me four loops. And listen, if you need a good bow video, just drop down into my YouTube description box and there's a bow video you guys can find. It's a Christmas video, but it's gonna share with you guys how to make a quick little Olivia bow. They're so easy, oh my goodness. I'm gonna take a zip tie to the center here is zip tie up to the center and then you just want to give it a good fluff it up and then you have a fabulous little bow and that's the secret to all my bows is all that fluffing and I also suggest to always try to use wired ribbon that's super helpful as well so once I had the ribbon fluffed out I just wanted to go ahead and take another zip tie and zip tie to that to the wreath I always used to use pipe cleaners but I'm really finding that I like zip ties better so much better um, because they really keep everything on really nicely so I'm just fluffing out my ribbon now I think it's super cute as is but you know I have to go a little bit extra step and there's my creative direction Director in the background, Benji Bear, my puppy dog, he wants me to play with them. Um, but I'm gonna use this blue ribbon and I made another quick little Olivia bow. The blue ribbon I did get off of Amazon. And I used it last year as well. So it did last me quite a bit of a long time. I'm gonna zip tie that to the center of my black and white check bow. And then there you guys have that. You can add some lemons. I added some of the lemons and Dollar Tree limes. They have a lot of limes out this year. Oh, and also you guys keep an eye out for those Dollar Tree lemon dishes. I saw some in my store yesterday, so they should be out in your store, hopefully. Um, I also have some lemon dishes linked to my Amazon story too. So what is your favorite uh, motto in life? That's gonna be the secret question for this video. So if you're wondering what a secret question is, well, I do have a Cricut Joy giveaway that I'm going to be giving away. So I like to ask you all a secret question in every single one of my videos. It gives you guys an opportunity to connect and also to win the Cricut Joy. So just drop a comment down below. What is your favorite motto? Your favorite little quick thing that you love to pop out? Um, you know, it could be a little, 
a token of scripture. Let's light up the comment section with some positive vibes. I think I really need that. And I know it can help others as well. Um, but for me right now, it's when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. And so I hope wherever you're at and whatever you have going on, you're making the best of it and making that sweet little glass of lemonade. Now for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm gonna take one of these super adorable little Dollar Tree frames. These are out right now in our stores and they're a larger, I believe eight by 10 size. And they're really, really cute. I mean, you could totally use them as is. I got the idea to just go ahead and pop some of my McKenzie Child's um, pattern. This is just from Hobby Lobby. It's just a little paper pattern. And I'm measuring it to measure the size of the backing of the frame. And I didn't even realize you could remove the backing and then add an insert. Or you could even add in... Um, a piece of glass or gosh even a mirror I don't know <laughs> so anyway um, I did cut that piece of I keep wanting to say fabric but it's paper I'm popping it back into the frame and then voila I have this really cute little customized frame I do like the black but I just thought it'd be neat now listen Dollar Tree is also selling these paper cutouts if you want to do some larger paper cutout decor you could mod podge these make them into a banner I decided just to pop it on to the center of my my little um, picture frame here. You could also put some of your kids' pictures in there, but I thought it was such a happy, a fun little way to bring some sunshine and lemon fresh goodness to my decor. So I love y'all. Thank you so, so much for being here, and I hope you enjoy these DIYs. blessing and honor to have you all here. Listen, if you love to craft and decorate on a budget, I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free. Punch the little bell and it will update you every time I post a new video. I post several DIY videos a week on YouTube as well as several DIY videos a day on Facebook and Instagram. My whole thing here is just keep you guys motivated to craft and decorate it and also to share with you how you can make high-end decor pieces on a budget. And I'm going to tell you guys right now that crafting and decorating for me is such a healing and wonderful journey. So wherever you're at, give yourself grace and just keep working at it. So anyway, I love y'all to the moon and back. I cannot wait for our next video. We have so many fun ideas for summer and then we'll move into fall and Christmas. And just listen, you guys, I'm so thankful and blessed to have y'all here. Also, don't forget to listen to all of my videos. I usually have a giveaway going on and I'll post a secret question and then I'll just announce the giveaway winner on my social media page. Um, I don't ever like inbox anybody or anything like that. So if you guys ever see that, just know that it's not me, um, that I do an announcement and all you guys have to do ever to enter my giveaways is to comment and just follow my pages. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's completely all you have to do. So anyway, I love y'all to the moon and back. I can't imagine where I would be without you guys. This community is just so amazing and such a blessing. Every time I read your comments, listen, you bless me, you bless those who read them. So remember you have a voice, so use it for positivity. Okay. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a gorgeous, fabulous, blessed day. And until our next video, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.